This is Twit. Okay, so uh, chromium is beginning to rust. Google's announcement and blog posting last Thursday is titled Supporting the Use of Rust in the Chromium Project. They wrote, We are pleased to announce that moving forward, the Chromium Project is going to support the use of third-party Rust libraries from C++ in Chromium. That is, you know, libraries called from C++. To do so, we are now actively pursuing adding a production Rust tool chain to our build system. This will enable us to include Rust code in the Chrome binary within the next year. We're starting slow and setting clear expectations on what libraries we will consider once we're ready. Our goal in bringing Rust into Chromium is to provide a simpler and safer way to satisfy the rule of two. And I actually skipped over the fact at the top of the show that that is today's podcast title, The Rule of Two, which we'll be talking about here in a minute. Um, so they said, our goal in bringing Rust into Chromium is to provide a simpler and safer way to satisfy the rule of two, whatever that is, in order to speed up development, less code to write, less design docs, less security review, and improve the security, meaning increasing the number of lines of code without memory safety bugs, decreasing the bug density of code of Chrome. And they said, and we believe that we can use third-party Rust libraries to work told toward this goal. And they finished, Rust was developed by Mozilla, specifically for use in writing a browser. So it's very fitting that Chromium would finally begin to rely on this technology too. Thank you, Mozilla, for your huge contribution to the systems software industry. Rust has been an incredible proof that we should be able to expect a language to provide safety while also being performant. And God, I hate that word, performant. I know. It just seems, it, it's like, it, it, is it Apple who talks about the learnings? No, it's Microsoft like, oh. is learnings, yeah. But oh, Microsoft the whole is tech learnings. industry has its own vocabulary, and it's, yeah. it's the business Being vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, everyone listening to this podcast has heard me lament that we're never going to get ahead of this beast of software flaws if we don't start doing things differently. You know, what was that definition of insanity? Anyway, it's great news that the Chromium Project is taking this step. It will be a slow and very evolutionary move to, you know, to have an increasing percentage of the Chromium code base written in Rust. But, you know, this is the way that effort and this eventuality gets started. You know, you've got to start somewhere. So, you know, and you may have noted... Um, as I said, the Google's announcement mentioned this rule of two, which we'll be taking an in-depth look at here uh, in a minute. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands-On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. Hey. 